So, as you may know if you watch my videos, I have a blog on which I am trying to get into talking about environmental problems and how we can make them better in our own lives. So, I care about the environment and it's been a little while now, over a year since I started looking into the zero waste movement. And from the beginning, I had some issues with it, with the ideal of zero waste implying that if you get up to this standard, you get the title of zero waste, and that means you are creating no physical waste. But it's not true. There's stuff that goes into the production of all of your things that you get in bulk, and the transportation of everything. You're still creating waste when you're zero waste. So it's unattainable and it's like up up here on this like it's a goal. It's a great goal and I love what I've er, learned from the zero waste community. But it was never something that felt all encompassing for what I cared about. What I care about. So recently I was watching a video by Get a Mary and one of the comments said something about sustainably vegan changing away from zero waste and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna go check that out. And I watched the video by Sustainably Vegan here on YouTube, of course, and she started the low impact movement and I went to, the, there, there's an Instagram account for it so you can get more information. All of the captions on the photos are really full of stuff about what this is. So I'm going to read a quote from the first post. The low impact movement is not about perfection or judgment, but community and unity in striving for a better future for all. It encompasses ideals from many environmental movements, but in such a way that seeks to support every step, however small, towards a more sustainable world. Do your best and never judge yourself when you fail because all we can do is our best and continue to learn from our mistakes. Which is basically what I wanted out of uh, a green lifestyle. I've been trying to find like a way to put it and low impact movement is that way. And I'm very excited that it's a thing and people are, people in the, low waste and zero waste communities are getting on this. So here I am. <laughs> I'm gonna spread the word and this is gonna be something that I talk about more. As I've mentioned that I wanted to make more videos about environmental stuff and how I'm doing things in my home and my life to try and lessen my negative impact on the planet. And this is really encouraging. It, it feels so like I, I've lifted out of, like, this need to achieve, like, an unattainable goal. So now there is something that I can achieve that celebrates, like, every step in the way. I, just a few days ago, had to end up buying another plastic tube of toothpaste because I don't have any alternatives. And it made me really frustrated and upset that I had to do that when I could make my own toothpaste, except the toothpaste that is coconut oil based, I can't stand the taste of. It's, it doesn't work for me, and I tried it in the past, and I, I can't get the dental tabs yet, but I'm working on the little toothpaste tablets. But I had to buy a tube of toothpaste, and in the zero waste track I was trying to get on, that was really like devastating for me and it was very difficult because I felt like I should be above that by now but it's okay <laughs> it's all I have to take care of my teeth I I need to do it and so I've always been wanting to create a community here where it's okay to make those mistakes and it's okay if you need medication or any other things to keep yourself health to keep yourself healthy that 
require using plastic, but there are lots of things that everybody can do to still make a difference, no matter what your money situation is, your physical, mental abilities. I want to help make this lifestyle and movement accessible for everyone. So I have a few plans for in the coming year of guides and videos that I want to make, such as low waste shopping, for food shopping on a small budget and stuff like that. Putting together a guide for people who don't have the time to do all of the experimenting. I am lucky that I can devote time and energy and money to figuring it out and putting together a guide for people who have to work and go to school and don't have as much money to experiment and have things go wrong. I want to I want to put something together for those people, not just the people who can go read a billion blog posts about it and then start doing it because it's been like zero waste as like this this thing that's like a what was it a luxury <laughs> it's it's not as accessible and because it's such a high unattainable goal that's not easily accessible by everyone it turns a lot of people away from it and they feel frustrated like if i can't i can't do that then what's the point how can i make a difference and you can and it's called the low impact movement so definitely go check out it's the low impact movement all one thing on instagram the there'll be a link in the description to all this i like to start vlogging more about things and including stuff like while i'm getting ready to go out the door what i'm putting into my bag because I now bring things like this with me and I'll switch out my silverware pouch. I want to show more of that um, and hope to inspire people to do little things that are accessible to them and understand why you should because I see a lot of stuff that's just it's for people who already know what our impact is or at least a little bit of what's going on with the environment and I want to also provide resources for people to learn because if you don't know why it's so important then you won't be passionate about it you won't care enough to make any changes it'll be something like oh yeah I should probably do that because it's good for the planet and you know that's good but when you know about the amount of plastic in the ocean and the impact it has on life and the food chain. You don't want to use a plastic shopping bag anymore and it's going to motivate you to bring your own bags. So yeah, I want to provide more resources. All of that should be coming through on my blog. Uh, Amberthest.com slash blog is where I've moved that to. And subscribe right here to see more videos because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this type of thing in addition to blog posts. So it'll go together. So you can check out both of these places for more information. And <laughs> thank you so much for listening and looking into the low impact movement. Oh, and just to mention, because I don't think I've said it in a video yet, but I have a Patreon account, and I'm posting everything that I post online, my blog posts and my videos and random other bits from other places onto the Patreon feed for the public. So even if you don't want to donate money or give me money, however that works. If you don't want to or don't have the funds to, you can still follow me there for updates and all kinds of stuff. That's where I post everything before Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. If I even post it to those places, it'll be on Patreon. So thank you so much for your support and have a nice day.
is that a YouTuber thing? A lot of YouTubers just like pick up their cup of tea and drink it while making a video. I'm, this is just my breakfast. <laughs> I, I'm just being productive today. Bleh. It's so hot.